another Coast Daily Brew. Today we're going to be talking about some of my longer term goals and my tips and tricks on how to stay consistent with actually achieving longer term goals. So today I figured it'd be fun if we dove into some of like the bigger goals I have going on right now once that quick sip and just in general how I've been like mapping them out and Basically the main tip that I go to when it comes to actually getting work done and like inching away and chipping away at the bigger goals that I have going. So for starters, I feel like overall in my life right now, I have three really big goals that I'm working on. One is usually always a book of some sort. So right now I'm working on catching and that is definitely the biggest goal that's going on this year in particular. I'm hoping to get as much of catching done before the end of the year as I can, but I'm not putting like a crazy deadline on it because it's one of those things that I really want to have fun with and like chip away at in a way that doesn't stress me out. So catching is definitely the first and biggest goal that I have. If you guys don't know what catching is, catching is the second book to Catcher, which is the first book that I ever wrote. It's kind of like a teen fiction, young adult type of thing. The shortest version of it is this about this girl that dreams of this boy her whole life after she nearly dies and then long story short you find out that this is like a real person but he doesn't know who she is and all of that good stuff so I'm on the second book of that and that is one of the bigger goals that I had going into this year but it's one of those goals that I'm now really hitting the ground running with because the first half of the year I didn't have I guess as much of a good plan on checking in on my bigger goals as I do now going into the second half of the year does that make sense so then in terms of bigger life goals that I have there's two one of them business wise is building up Coes. So Coes, obviously, if you guys are watching this video, you're watching this through Coes. Coes, the Coes YouTube channel is completely separate from my personal channel. It's one of those things that I know is gonna come with time and just like working around with like playing with Coes to figure out exactly what I'm trying to turn it into. But ultimately what I'm trying to build with Coes is a community. I want it to be this place where I'm kind of under the umbrella of Coes rather than Coes being under the umbrella of me in the sense of I want Coes to be this like one stop place where you feel like comfort and also inspired to go outside of your comfort zone. And so I want to eventually build it up to something where I'm having guests on it all the time. I don't know if it's end up going to having like its own podcast or what, but it's just one of those things that I guess in a lot of ways is a brand that I'm building up and the whole premise behind the brand and what the brand stands for and having like merch and stuff for the brand. Yes. Oh, Bentley just sneezed. Can you guys see him rolling back there? But yeah, so ultimately just creating like a brand with Coz and having like Coz merch and just like cozy things that you can wear, but also to like cozy content. And that's basically what these Coz dailies are too. Just, a, you know, morning, just enjoy your coffee with me type of thing. So Coz is another big one that isn't a this year thing. That's like a five, 10 year plan where I ultimately see Coz going. It'd be amazing to have like, it's just there's so many ideas that it's like I could go on forever, but it'd be amazing to eventually have like Coz meetups where they're like retreats or like little weekends away or just, just so many things that I want to do with Coz. Just so much untapped potential here. And it's one of those things too that it won't ever get done if I don't have a system where I'm checking in and actually chipping away at that goal. And then finally, my personal goal, my big like life goal is to learn yoga or like become a yogi. I don't know exactly how you would put that into context or terms, but I guess it's learning yoga. And that's one of those goals that I've been working at for a while now, but it's one of those goals that will never go away. I feel like even by the time you're 80, yoga is just like one of those things that you never fully master it. So you never really stop. And I think that's what initially drew me into yoga is that you always have to practice and you always just like 
like there's no end in sight and that is like a comfort to me because then it's never about trying to get to a destination with yoga it's just about learning I guess about my body and I guess too about how to slow down and how to tune in and how to be present and aware and so those are the three bigger goals that I have going on in my life right now and here is like my number one tip when it comes to actually chipping away at those goals now you don't actually have to have like three big goals that you do with this with but ultimately the whole concept is this every day try and check into at least one of your bigger term goals for a 45 minute just little crunch of time if you can give yourself 45 minutes on the most highest priority big goal even if you have a lot of other little goals checking in on your bigger goals for 45 minutes a day is going to make sure that even if you don't get a lot chipped away at that bigger goal you're still checking in you're still aware that it's there you're still like looking at what your next action items are maybe putting it into your calendar or your schedule or if it's one of those bigger goals like yoga for me just even taking 45 minutes to do yoga every single day is me chipping away at that bigger personal goal and then for like things like Co's in my book I mean initially I wanted to try and do what I did with catcher which was write 45 minutes every single day but that became too daunting when there was a lot of other things that were pulling at my attention so instead on the weekends I try and take a couple 45 minutes in a row and just like sit and crunch into catching for like a long period of time and then I dip back out but then basically that way instead of doing a little bit of it every single day I do a little bit of it in a week you know you like zoom out from the day perspective into a week's perspective and I get it done on the weekends and last but not least with Co's it's one of those things too that 45 minutes a day, I just try and tap in, see what's going on with Co, see if there's anything that needs to be done, any big action items, and ultimately what's going on on like the bigger grand scale, like what is being done groundwork wise that's gonna take longer to see the outcome for, but that like work is being done, you know? So yeah, I guess that's it. Those are my bigger, longer term goals. Be sure to let me know yours down in the comment section and let me know if you guys end up trying this little 45 minute kitchen timer thing where you're every day just check in on your bigger goals for 45 minutes and see if it makes any difference even in just a week and aside from that i hope you guys enjoyed today's coast daily brew and i'll see you guys all tomorrow bye guys